Often immunotherapy is given in combination with chemotherapy. You rarely see them not put together. I know that in my own experience. But what role does CRI play in that, in exploring new combinations? It seems that we put Keytruda next to a lot of things. Not everything has has happened, right? Yes. So where I think the most important part of what CRI has done and what's quite unique about us as an organization is that from the very beginning, we've always wanted to fund scientists. And what I mean by that is that we really believe that the individual themselves is capable of making breakthroughs. And so we actually select our awards based off of the individual, the person, the scientist, and not necessarily based off of the projects. Now, obviously, the projects have a lot to do with the outcomes that can be achieved by those scientists. But I think it's actually kind of similar to that sort of VC funding model of funding founders, not companies. Similarly, CRI funds scientists, not projects. And I think that's what makes it very unique. And I think that's why we have such a high hit rate in terms of funding some of the best up and coming and brightest scientists. I think the other thing that's really important is the, the stage at which we fund. We fund postdoc fellows and we fund mid-career scientists in our STAR award. These are two very important moments within an academic scientist's career where that extra bit of funding can make a huge difference in terms of the impact that that person can have. It can mean the difference between buying that microscope that you need for your experiments versus not. It can be the difference between hiring that technician that you need versus not. And so I think it's very important that we continue that work. In terms of the areas that I want to change, I think it's more about thinking about the growth potential. So today, CRI is able to raise and gift about $30 million in funding a year, which I think is a significant impact and allows us to fund some of these research programs. If we are to really do the full spectrum, diversified program funding that I like to do, which is clinical programs, research programs, data, and patient programs, that requires top-line growth. And so for me, it's not necessarily about stopping things, but it's more about investing in and diversifying the set of programs that we work on. And that, I think, really can add up to much larger impact than just research funding alone. So I think it's a, it's about really how do you invest in that ecosystem. For example, building that data asset will accelerate the research program. There's obviously a synergy there. And so it's really about thinking about how we do that. Maybe you could tell me, the audience, what are some of the ways you'd like to begin to partner with them going forward into the future? Yeah, this is an excellent question. So I think there's a couple of different areas to think about. So Ultimately, CRI is a philanthropically funded nonprofit organization. And so it's always important for us to be able to find the right donors who are mission oriented and want to donate their funding towards scientific impact. That's first and foremost. But I also think as a nonprofit organization in the cancer space, I think it is our unique spot in the cancer ecosystem, to think about how we maximize our impact through partnership. Unlike in academia or in industry, we aren't incentivized to compete. Our goal here actually is to maximize the impact of donor dollars. And so my thought here is, where are the right contributions of know-how for convening thought leadership and also bringing together the right group of folks to be able to move the field forward? 